Ms. Yarborough, God bless you. I must say, I'm not working with the foster care. I have adopted five. <laughs> um, I, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a widow. I have nine kids. I have four biological sons, successful young men of integrity. I have five adopted children now, and I have two daughters that have graduated already. I have one attending the University of Louisville. I have two, <laughs> I have two sons. Uh, in high school, and I have my little one who is 10 years old, and he's in uh, elementary school. I like to say, I just want to read a little bit. In 1957, I remembered walking up the street of 7th and Kentucky to a new school that had just been built. It was brand spanking, newly built, red brick building. You could smell the newness. It was about 25 parents and and myself, I forgot the number of children that was with us. We were going, entering the second grade that year, but we had great plans to attend that Taj Mahal. My mother had slaved over the stove the day before, making homemade starch to iron the hand-me-down jumper. The anticipation and enthusiasm disappeared when the principal came to the, to the door of the new school and pointed to us to go back down to the old school, our old school, which was Mary B. Talbot School, which is now a part of Simmons Bible College. With our head down, my mother locked hands with mine and escorted us back down to our old school, Mary B. Talbot, where the books were used, the classes were large, and the teaching materials were few and far between. I remember using my large eraser just to erase dozens of pages that had been written in from the used workbooks that we had been given. I said this to say this, I said that to say this. A new day and the light has come to Kentucky in the form of charter schools. No longer will we accept one size fits all agenda. No longer will we accept the curse of poverty as being an excuse to the education of our children. No longer will we accept teachers who embrace tenure rather than the welfare and success of our children's education. New Orleans, Louisiana is a good example of the success of charter schools. 75%, it may be more, it may be higher, of the crime among teenagers is down because of charter schools. Milwaukee, Chicago, New York, just to name a few, are celebrating the success of charter schools. In closing, I say to you parents, our daughters will not see the inside of Pee Wee Valley will not reside at Eddieville. We will have charter schools. It's a new day. It's a new time.